Oh, no, no, no. I was just saying how, like, I just want everything to be, like, you know, well managed as far as, like, time. I really have a tight schedule. I mean, I don't really got shit to do, but I'm just saying I got a tight schedule, so I just want everybody to, you know, do their role today, everybody do their job, so we can really get out of here. Because y'all told me it's probably going to take 20, 30 minutes. I don't got that kind of time, but I did this for y'all. So, can y'all please just make sure that we running on time, because I'm not really trying to stay here for- What the fuck are you supposed to be, nigga? For real. Yo, you like a pedophile. You got a head on. <laughs> you got a head on. You standing behind a tree with it. Get the camera. You like a hey, pedophile. You So what's going on GQ? This is Nigel Baker and these are my essentials. This is everything that I need. Why the fuck is he yelling? My fault. This is everything that I need to get me throughout the entire day. If I don't have this when I'm walking out of the house. What's wrong with his hair? Yo, if she gonna be dissing me. What's going on GQ? This is Nigel Baker and these are my essentials. So the first item that I say that I really, really, really need is music. I don't really take this out of the house, but when I do, I make sure that the white people can hear me on goddamn. I love this speaker right here. It was a gift from my mom. I'm not gonna lie, when uh, she first brought it to me, I was just like, what the fuck is this? I mean, you can tell it's a speaker now because I'm, I'm telling it to you, but she gave it to me like this. It's got me through a lot of days when, you know, I had nobody. This speaker got me through a lot of days when it just felt like it was a dark cloud around me. Oh my God, here you go with this crybaby ass. Bro, somebody come get this nigga, bro. Uh, this is my next item right here. This is Gucci Guilty. This is Gucci Cologne. This right here separates the men from the boys. I honestly didn't start wearing cologne until probably about the beginning of this year because when I would go out, I would always shower before I go out. I used to think that as long as I wash up before I go out and the females smell that soap and water on me, I'm good money. You are, you know what I'm saying? You good if you just, you know, you wash up because a lot of people use this as deodorant and showers. That's not what you're supposed to do. It's not what this is made for. It's not gonna help that, okay? That's, some, that's another problem that you got. I knew that I smelled good, but I just never really understood the purpose of using cologne. You need cologne. If you a guy, you need cologne. If I don't know nothing else, cologne is a panty drop. Okay. <laughs> okay, if I don't know nothing else. Cause like, when you like greet a girl, you know what I'm saying? You like hug or like you can handshake, but a lot of females love like to hug and stuff. They smell this on you right here. She gonna put her number in your phone. And also it's how you spray it as well. Let me show you how I spray my cologne on. When you first pull it out the box, make sure Three. And now if you got like a roller, then you roll it right here and then you put it like this. Make sure that you spray it in your neck most definitely. All my young bulls out there and all my, you know, youngins might ask me, Nigel, why do you spray it on your neck? What's the point of spraying on your neck? Like I said, girls love to hug, you feel what I'm saying? And if you're a male, you're usually taller than a girl that's hugging you. But if a girl is taller than you, this shit is not gonna work. So when you're going for the hug, girls really are like right here to you, you know what I'm saying? Unless you some 6'1". So as soon as they hug you right there, you know what I'm saying? They gonna smell the cologne, they gonna like, oh, you smell nice. I'm gonna be like, hey, appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate you. You told me I smell nice, so I really feel, I really feel a connection. Huh, what'd you say? You gonna put your number in my phone. I just play, I just play. So this essential right here is just in case I gotta bust somebody nah, head. I can do that here. You can take that shit somewhere else. You ugly, dusty, street bum ass. I'm not gonna lie to you, I used to hate reading books. Probably up until like the beginning of this year, I really started diving into books, but I used to hate reading books. Like people used to bring me books and I used to run away from it like child support. I used to always think that when books were on movies, like as far as like they would write the book first and then make a movie, I was just like, what's the point of reading the book when you can watch the movie? 
I still don't get why you read the book if it's a movie out, but hey, we're reading books now. These books right here are probably my most prized possession. This one right here is the newest edition. I'm not sure if you can, well, yeah, you can see that. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this camera go crazy. At this point in my life, you feel what I'm saying? I'm not saying I'm old as hell. In this part of my life, I really love to read books. I'm not gonna lie to you. When you're going after something, you're gonna need to arm yourself mentally. You're gonna have to trust the process in whatever you're doing. Cause it's hard to keep going when you don't see the results that you've been looking for. And I feel like it's really important that you do realize that whatever happens during the process, just trust it. And these are all the books that I have read throughout the past couple months. God knows that I did not believe in my ability to do anything. Through reading, it made me understand that you can really do anything and get good at anything by just practice, you feel what I'm saying? If anything I said makes sense. But, yeah, so make sure you read a book, make sure you get your thing on. I ain't trying to get too preachy, too crazy, because I know y'all probably like, okay, we already heard this story before. Just get a book, pick a book up, any book you like. Just make sure that at least you read one personal growth self-help book at least once a month, or at least once every other month. I ain't even gonna put that pressure on you, because if somebody told me to read a book every month, I would've probably just laugh in his face and tell me to get the fuck out of my face. I feel like you should definitely go get this book though. Uh, this is not even a promotion, but if you're watching this, Russ, just make sure- It's not. Okay. Bro, what the fuck? So this is my next item right here, you feel me? These shoes, don't judge. Okay, let me first just break the story down, okay? God damn. These shoes hold a very, very, very special place in my heart. I got these shoes when I was in high school, okay? I never really had, I wouldn't say I never really had shoe game. Holy but these shit's fucked up. Back in high school, I never really had a shoe game like that, you feel what I'm saying? I mean, I had like, I wasn't wearing my dad's shoes or nothing, but I never had shoes that all my other friends had, you feel what I'm saying? Like, I never had like the Jordans or like the shoes that was like a part of the hype. When these shoes first came out, they were like hyped up. Like everybody was trying to get them, everybody was wearing them. So I bought some, first day I came to school, I was popping. I'm not gonna lie to you, I was popping, bro. These shoes, like everybody was wearing them. You know, the style was nice. Uh. I'm not saying there was some rare Jordans or nothing like that, but I'm just saying they was popping back then. You feel what I'm saying? So these shoes probably had like three good years in them. Uh, as you can see, it kind of went downhill. I'm not gonna lie to you. I mean, you can see it for yourself. Oh, shit. These shoes will forever hold a special place in my heart. Nah, let me stop. I'm probably gonna throw these hoes away in the next 20 minutes. <laughs> Now listen, I know what a lot of you young folks use these eye drops for. I'm not gonna touch on that. I use eye drops because like my eyes, they're really sensitive. So I used to hate putting eye drops in my eye because I used to hate like feeling things like drop inside my eye. If you like that, then that's some other freaky kinky stuff that I'm not gonna talk about. Uh, a lot of times my eyes dry out and my eyes get red a lot, you know what I'm saying, if I'm tired. I don't really have a way to drop them in my eye to keep it a whole band with you. This is basically how I put eye drops in if you're wondering. So look, I drop it in the corner of my eye. Oh shit, they burning. Count to five, one. God damn, three. So the next item is my G7X Mark II. I started my YouTube channel with this camera. This camera right here cost a pretty penny. I'm not gonna lie to you, okay? This camera almost made me quit YouTube before I even started. Uh, Because when I first saw this camera and saw the price of it and saw my bank account and what I had in there, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't gonna work. But God, you know, the universe, everything was aligned for me to get this camera, so here it is now in my hands, and I'm not sure what the f happened, but I know that that's not supposed to be doing what it's doing. I mean, it might not be broke, I might just be tripping, but I really, honestly, deep down think that this should not be goddamn moving like this. But let's just get this out the way before the front of it start coming off too. This whiteboard is a very, very, very vital part and key into my creativity. This whiteboard means a lot to me. Whenever I have like video ideas or like whenever I'm feeling mad creative, I'm quick to write it down because I feel like it's too much to go on my phone. I gotta unlock my phone. I gotta go to the notes app and then I gotta type everything. When I can just have this sitting right next to me at all times, grab the marker and just start writing, you feel me? This is probably the best investment, small investment that I really put my money towards. Um, I got it from Dollar Tree. 
know what I'm saying? The only problem is, when I write on it, if I leave it on there for about 10 minutes, it's like permanent marker. It's stuck to the board. I don't understand the problem. Maybe it's just because it's Dollar Tree value, but... Yeah, I could have made this shit myself. Like, little things like this make me happy, you feel what I'm saying? Because it's just like, as soon as you get an idea, as soon as you, like, find something out, just jot it down. You feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah, man. That's it about this. Uh, I really don't even use this shit, to be honest. This is my baby. This right here, it's fake as hell. if books was not in my collection, this would definitely be my next favorite prize possession. You feel what I'm saying? Anything that is like jewelry, any type of gold, or any type of diamond, you know what I'm saying? They just spice your outfit up. You feel what I'm saying? You can be wearing something from Dollar General. If you wear one of these on, you look like money. Uh, This is, yeah, 24 karat. You ain't Lie got- again, bro. Again. I really do like gold. Back then, I didn't really like gold, but you know what I'm saying? I really do love gold now. Uh, I feel like it just makes my skin pop, especially on African Americans. Not saying that any other race can't wear them, you know what I'm saying? So don't come at me. But on your bum ass, Which it look dirty. Do, this is actually from a store in the mall. I don't want to give out the name because, you know what I'm saying? I don't want y'all to go there and then y'all like, damn, this shit fake. <laughs> Check me out. A lot of dudes, they let the little pinky grow. That shit nasty. Okay, just cut it off. You know what I'm saying? It's not gonna hurt. I don't know if you use it to stab people. But at the same time, King, I ain't telling you how to be you. Do whatever floods your boat. I mean, some girls might like the long fingernail. I don't know. I make sure that all of the dirt under my nails is got because to put y'all on game again, females love a dude with some clean fingernails. Females love a dude with some clean hands. I feel like that's a major factor in like bagging any girl that you want. You feel what I'm saying? I might just be tripping. I might just be coming at it from a guy's perspective. I'm just dropping a little game from what I've experienced. I used to have long fingernails back in the day, so I Really? Nah, let me not even do that. I ain't never had no long fingernails. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. I ain't never. Cut the shank off. Cut it off. Just cut it off, bro. So next up is this charger. And obviously, as you can see, this is not no regular charger. This is a charger that if I'm downstairs, I can charge my phone. Other than that board... <laughs> Let me stop playing, I don't even use that shit. Other than anything else, this right here is my prized possession. I'm already getting a little turtle head on it, you feel me? Turtle head ain't gonna play with you. Some turtle heads work better than brand new ones. I don't know how that worked, but it worked. When it came to like the regular chargers, it was really irritating because every time I would try to charge my phone and roll over to the other side of the bed, I would rip it out the socket. Who wanted to go through that? Thank y'all so much for coming to this video. I appreciate all the love and support that y'all giving me. I love y'all. I mean that. Make sure you leave a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe. Do all of that stuff. Tell your family. Tell your friends. Tell anybody you want to tell that Nigel is back. You feel what I'm saying? Oh! And if you made it this far, I love you for real. You got a special place in my heart. I cannot deal with this crybaby ass nigga no more. No. It's a... I'm just playing. So look, I love y'all with all my heart. And uh, more bangers on the way. And what we said in the video, God got me, woke me up, took me in. God got me, woke me up, took me in, took me in. Set me down, broke me down, said make me proud, make me proud.